make this one little tweak inside Microsoft Copilot, and you're going to get much better results, especially when trying to chat with a PDF. All right, I'm excited for this one. I know it's small, but it's going to make a big difference. So before we get started, if you're new here, thanks for joining. My name is Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. And every single day we do uh, an AI in five, a five-minute you know, tutorial tip, uh, et cetera, um, to help you better use generative AI. So if this is helpful, please subscribe and go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for our free daily newsletter. All right, so here is what we're going to do here. So if you haven't heard about VASA 1, we actually just did a full uh, episode on it, so I'll leave it in the comments. But uh, I'm bringing this up so we can talk to this research paper. All right, and this is something that you maybe use, uh, you know, different a you know different AI tools for. I personally love using Microsoft um, Edge for this purpose. So if you don't know Microsoft Edge, it is Microsoft's newer browser, but it's based on Chromium, which is great. Uh, I love Google Chrome, so if you use uh, Microsoft Edge. It's based on Chromium. So all your Chrome extensions, all your Chrome data will transfer over. All right. So up here in the upper right-hand corner, you should see this little uh, kind of banner. Okay. So go ahead and click that. That's going to pop out a summary. So I'm going to show you what's new, but I'm going to show you what's new by showing you something frustrating. So, uh, I mean, we'll see it's generative AI. You're going to get different results each and every time. So I'm just going to say summarize VASA 1. This is not how I would be, um, you know, using it. So I'm going to say summarize VASA one, right? So I'm, uh, I have this research paper up and I'm saying summarize VASA one. And we'll see here, uh, there's, there's some new updates, which I like to how Copilot works because, uh, it used to only show you sources on the back end, uh, which was fine, but sometimes, you know, it would take 20, 30, 40, 50 seconds to generate. And then you find out at the end, oh, it's pulling from some random sources. Uh, so you'll see right here, even though I have this PDF up, uh, it is still just browsing the web. Okay, so it's it's bringing in, yes, it's bringing in some information from Microsoft.com, but that's not what I want. I am on uh, ArcSIF. Uh, I actually don't even know how this is pronounced, ArcSIF. I'm on this site all the time. I don't even know how it's pronounced. Anyways, uh, so it's bringing in all this information from other sources, which is like, okay, well, that's helpful maybe. So I'm going to click stop. I'm going to click refresh. So a lot of times what people might do is you click generate document summary. And then you think that, hey, any, any chat that I have from now on is going to be about this PDF, but that is not necessarily the case. So uh, in this case, it is because I did click generate document summary. Uh, however, now if I go to keep typing, let's just, I'm going to use a very, uh, you know, a, a very broad prompt. So I'm going to say, uh, what's the difference between... VASA and other models, right? Something simple. And I'm going to click enter. So now, even though you think, oh, okay, because I clicked generate, uh, because I clicked this generate document summary and it was reading specifically from the PDF, that it's going to continue doing that. And that's not the case, right? So even previously, uh, I would run into this issue a lot. You know, you would have to prompt it and say, hey, only using this uh, web page or only using this PDF, do not you know, query the web, do not use browse with Bing. Sometimes that would work, sometimes it wouldn't. So this one new little feature uh, inside Copilot, which they, I didn't even see an announcement. So it's great. It's just typing the at symbol, okay? So now I'm gonna try the exact same prompt and I'm gonna type at. And you'll see by default, I know it's hard, I can't zoom in here. It says using relevant sources. So this is brand new. So now I'm just going to type at, and then I'm gonna click this page and I'm gonna do, this same prompt. So I'm going to say, according to this page, and then I'm going to say, what's the difference between VASA and other models? I don't actually know if we're going to get a great response uh, because there's not a lot of information in this uh, this PDF about other uh, about other models. There's a little bit, but it's more talking in generalities, right? Um, so we're probably not going to get the best response. We're probably just going to get some a little bit of marketing speak. But still, we see now that it's only using the PDF. Okay. And it actually is getting, uh, you know, some, some good information. All right. So it's very small, but you need to check it out. And then you can obviously toggle between. So maybe you're having a conversation with a PDF and then you need some context. Maybe that doesn't exist in the PDF. So make sure you can either use this new toggle inside of uh, Microsoft Edge's Copilot banner um, inside their browser, or you can just use the at button, right? So if you, um, 
are unsure what it's using, uh, make sure to look at this brand new toggle. I know that sounds small. I spent a lot of time using Microsoft Edge literally just for this, just for the PDF. Um, and I just saw they, they updated this recently. And I said, this is going to save a lot of people a lot of time. And if you're not already using Microsoft Edge for this purpose, I highly encourage it. Yes, there's so many different tools, different techniques that you can use, uh, generative AI to chat with, P uh, with PDFs. I love doing it as an example in um, in ChatGPT, but a lot of times I'm just on the page and I might not want to get distracted, open up another you know window. Uh, so this is a great way to very quickly chat with your PDFs in an accurate way with this new at option and drop down toggle from Microsoft Copilot inside their browser. All right. I hope this is helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.